first tonight, Boots and Vision Express. They are two of the most trusted brands on the high street. If they tell you there's a product that will help you protect your eyesight, you may well fork out up to £70 more to buy it. But maybe you shouldn't. There's a certain amount of blue light that's not meant to go into the back of the eye. Do you get harmful blue light emitted from screens? And that goes even deeper to the corneal and it kills with ourselves. On average, we spend nine hours a day in front of screens and devices, all of which emit blue light. According to staff at Boots and Vision Express, there's a long list of risks associated with the light that comes from these devices. Luckily, both offer lenses that promise to protect your eyes from blue light. Vision Express sell their anti-reflection plus blue lenses for an extra £59 and Boots sell their Protect Plus blue lenses for a whopping £70 extra. But do we really need such pricey protection? I've come to meet Dr John O'Hagan, one of the country's leading experts in light. What is blue light and is it dangerous? Blue light forms a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And blue light is only dangerous if we have huge amounts of it, uh, far greater than we would normally get in, in daily life. Blue light exists naturally in sunlight, and John is measuring it using this device. So even at the peak on here, we're about 3% of the safety limit. So the safety limit's way over the top here, and uh, we're measuring about 3% here. So if that's safe, what about the amount of blue light I'm getting from a computer or a mobile phone or a tablet? How can you measure that? Let's go and have a look. John shows me a device that will measure the intensity of light coming from a smartphone. We just put that in front of the input optics. He closes the blinds to cut out external light and levels of blue light from the smartphone appear on this screen. The levels there are certainly less than 1% of, of the safe level. You could stare at that phone all day and be at less than 1% of the, the safe level. Less than 1%, so really not significant at all. Pretty insignificant. John has tested a number of the electronic devices and they all threw up similar results. That was interesting. The blue light being emitted from that mobile phone wasn't even remotely dangerous. In fact, earlier this year, Public Health England asked Dr O'Hagan to write a report about whether or not we need to be worried about the amount of blue light emitted from our electronic devices. His conclusion? Absolutely not. So if a leading light expert isn't worried, why on earth are Boots and Vision Express? And what claims are they making about these lenses? To find out, we went undercover to five branches of Boots and five branches of Vision Express right across the country, posing as customers wanting to buy new glasses. Both say their lenses will cut out 20% of blue light amongst other benefits. And in every single store, the dispensing opticians made claims about the health benefits of cutting down this light. To help me understand if these claims are true, I've enlisted the help of leading ophthalmologist Professor Chris Hammond. Seven stores we visited told us that the lenses would protect us from eye strain or eye fatigue caused by blue light. If you are on a computer for like let's just say um, more than four hours a day. Um, there's something called blue protection and that prevents you uh, from straining your eyes as well. It sounds lovely, protecting your eyes, making them more comfortable, making your eyes relax, but do blue lenses really protect your eyes from eye strain? The concept of eye strain is difficult to measure and difficult to record. So I think there is no evidence that eye strain, whatever that might be, is prevented by protecting you from a little bit of the blue light from your screen. Four stores told us that blue protect lenses would prevent headaches caused by blue light. We designed it with you to reduce the kind of eye strain and headaches to help prevent long-term headaches. So the blue lens will block out blue light and protect you from headaches, really? Again, I'm afraid to say not true. There isn't any evidence to back any of those claims up. Another store told us that blue light would send you to sleep. Do you know when you sort of you're trying to go to sleep or you start on the phone and then you think it's going to put you to sleep because mm. it 
actually, the only reason why it's putting you to sleep is because it's tiring your eyes out, and the reason why it's tiring your eyes out is because of the blue light from the screen. I know of no evidence showing that fatigue is somehow related to blue light. Blue light wakes us up. And then the claims got more extreme. Four of the boot stores told us outright that blue light from screens can damage our eyes. So basically, it's just damaging blue lights that can come off like you, um, like your phones, your tablets, your, your computers. So you get harmful blue light emitted from screens. It sort of filters all the sort of damage. It's, it's a full detection. Damaging, harmful. That's going to frighten people. It frightens me hearing it, and I'm a professional. I think that it's very important to say that there is no evidence that blue light from computer screens, iPads, small phones, etc., damage our eyes in any way. A dispensing optician at this boots went even further. That blue light like, kills the retinal cells in the back of the eyes. So therefore, that's why, you know, our parents weren't like when they said, don't stare at these things for too long. No. Screen use does not kill retinal cells. We all use screens an awful lot, and we are not seeing some epidemic of damaged eyes from these screens. And he wasn't done yet. But that causes a risk of AMDs, aging macular degeneration, which is patchy blinds in the eye, which you cannot have in operation. So that's why if you're staying at computers day in day out for 10 hours, that's a very, very good computer to have. AMD is the progressive loss of our central vision and affects one in ten over the age of 65. In Boots, this leaflet also warns of a link between screen use and AMD. So we know age is the main risk factor. We know our genetics. Smoking is a risk factor, probably poor diet. However, blue light as a cause of AMD from screens, absolutely no evidence that, that they can cause AMD. Across ten stores, we heard six different scare stories that our experts say are not backed up with evidence. And what makes it all worse is that Boots has already been warned about making such claims. Just over a year ago, the Advertising Standards Authority banned this advert. It says that many modern gadgets give off a certain kind of blue light that can cause your retinal cells to deteriorate over time. But the Advertising Standards Authority told Boots that they simply do not have the evidence to back up such claims. So why are their dispensing opticians still saying it in store? It's certainly worrying because clearly I, as a member of the public, being told that I ought to protect my eyes from computer screens, would leave with the impression that they're harmful. And that is not the case. Well, Boots says that there is a growing body of clinical evidence to support its position that exposure to some wavelengths of blue light may, over the long term, be harmful to the eye. And this is just beginning to be understood. It says in-store promotional material was approved by Trading Standards and adds that it welcomes our feedback and where we may not have been given the correct advice, it will work with teams to explain the benefits more clearly. Boots has stopped short of offering a full refund, but it does say that if you're unhappy, make an appointment with them and please do let us know how you get on. Well, I'm joined now by Jonathan Lawson, who is the CEO of Vision Express. That was Boots's response. Will you be going even further and offering anybody who feels they've been missold these lenses a refund? Well, Sophie, this really matters to us at Vision Express and I'm really pleased I've got the opportunity to do discuss the concerns that you raise within this programme. And I've reviewed the footage in stores and absolutely, I think we could have been clearer in our communication and advice. There's a really important point to reassure our customers here, is that Vision Express have never claimed that blue light damages the eye or any part absolutely, of the eye. Absolutely, but we were told, in our, by our undercover reporters, we were told that it prevents, these lenses will prevent eye strain from blue light, eye fatigue, prevent headaches, which our experts say is not true. There's no scientific evidence to back that up. Well, I think uh, I would completely disagree with every that there is no evidence. We've provided... You're disagreeing with the scientific Well, I fully respect just isn't there. the individuals that you've involved, but there is significant evidence to actually say that the extensive use in our modern-day lifestyles of electrical devices with blue light can cause an increased level of eye strain and fatigue. 
and from we've blue made, light. From blue light. The, I've seen the, the evidence that you have given to us, but it's produced by manufacturers of the lenses, it's produced by trade bodies, it's produced by people who have an interest in this. It's not independently... It's not independent scientific evidence. Well, I think the Vision Council support our view. The University of the Montreal... The trade bodies, aren't they? The univer well, the University of Alabama, Alabama is not a trade that body. That wasn't so a peer-reviewed study. I'll give you a really uh, simple point that highlights the point I'm trying to make, which is not about harm, not about danger, not about damage. When you review an electronic device, Sophie, your eyes blink less.